uh, a male adapter. Which comes off of the Weber grill, right? That's, That's right. For natural gas. That's right. And then a reducing coupling from the three quarter down to. This comes out of the wall, right? This is a half inch, I believe. This comes off the wall. All right, so we've got our quick disconnect fitting from the Weber grill. And it's got a 3 8 inch female adapter, so we're going to put the 2 inch nipple in there. And then we've got a reducing bushing that will fit inside of this one. Since we get all this taped and pipe doped up, we'll go from a 3 quarter down to a 3 8 fitting. Pipe dope tape and not Teflon tape, right? Well, this is gas pipe tape. Gas pipe tape. Pipe tape and pipe dope. Are you using both of them? Double sealed. I need a couple wrenches to lock all that together. Okay. Tight? Should be tight. Right here. And then have that over, but... Because right now it comes out kind of funny, you know? You could have it like this. That's not bad. Oh, it's gonna be right. It's gonna be right there. He's gonna have it out there anyway on the platform. Oh, he is. Yeah. Oh. Okay. We got the part all cleaned up. And one last tightening. I'm gonna take the cap off of here. See that? Moving? That shouldn't move. Wasn't put on very tight, huh? So it's a new house, new grill. Doesn't look like these pieces over here were put in very tightly, so we're going to reseal them all.
tighten it back up. But we're not going to mess with it from the valve back. That looks pretty tight. In such a low pressure, natural gas, it's not going to leak. But we have some soap water we'll spray on there after to make sure this works correctly. Yeah, he didn't have a pipe wrench back there, so. I was thinking channel locks and guys. Channel locks, rather. Okay. I'm past this point on the threads that they were there, so. This is definitely. Turn the valve open. Turn the spray. Of course, the end nipple there is going to hold pressure, but we don't see any bubbles anywhere. Let's give it a test on the grill. This is a Weber Genesis 2 grill. Natural gas. We have a hose with a quick connect, which is nice. You can put the cap on there when you're not using it to keep bugs out. Okay. All right. I'll take that stopper off. Here we go. Okay, turn the gas on. Gas on. Let's fire it up. We'll try that one first. Lift up that cover here and turn the gas on. And we'll turn it. What are you doing to my friend? There it goes. Gas is on. Fire's working. Try the burners. That's lit. Lit. Are they all lit, lit up? Mm -hmm. Yep. You saw them? Mm -hmm. Yep, I heard them. You can see the flame on all of them? All right, now, now if we drop that fork in there, it'll mount. There we go. That's the smoke test. And I'll shut them off. Push the gas. Uh, we got a visual. Next one. Visual. Next one. It's the sear station. Oh, yeah. Push this in. That's that's when you want to sear steaks. You turn that little one on. There, they're all working. This is the this one here is sear. These are regular. That just gives you an extra amount of heat in the middle here. It's really hot. Okay, you can turn those off. And then you have this little place over here. Turn it on and then push the button. There you go. You got flame. We have stainless steel bars up here, flavorizer bars, and then a little rack. And this rack's good for doing corn and keeping things warm. 